Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'ma do it all for you Welcome back to Rainers, Battlers, and Girls at PvP. This is Pogo Joel here coming at you with a, another PvP video and a special one today. Um, luckily, I was invited to the world's largest content creator tournament uh, for Pokemon Go. Uh, it got about, it was just under 70 content creators. Their goal was to get 100. They invited a lot of people. Uh, but uh, we ended up with just under 70, uh, which is a beautiful number, and uh, it was uh, Kaiser, so Kaiser Niner, Kaiser. Make sure you check him out. I will leave links to him uh, in the, the card here and uh, in the description below. Go check him out. Uh, awesome guy. Put this all together. Um, put up a lot of cash for prizes. Uh, amazing. Even if there wasn't prizes, I would have loved this thing. Uh, just getting to be able to collaborate with a lot of people there. Uh, so for the Kaiser Cup, we did have restrictions and bans, so all regional Pokemon were banned, so no regional exclusive Pokemon, Bastidon, Registeel, Ferrothorn, Skarmory, Altaria, Galarian Stunkfist, and Deoxys, so all of them were banned. And uh, there was a poison clause, so uh, people were encouraged to use po poison Pokemon. There was a shiny clause, some people were encouraged to use shinies. And there was a mascot clause, so if you're a trainer that uses a mascot, there was a clause where you had to use your mascot or something along its evolutionary line. Now the winner of this tournament gets a payout of $500 and with plenty of chances to earn more payouts as we go. Now, without further ado, if you like this video, I worked really hard. I think PvP could eventually be a eSport, so hopefully I did a good job presenting this. Um, this is the last video I make on this old laptop. My new one's coming in soon, and I'll be able to do a lot more better quality stuff. Fingers crossed. Um, but if you like this kind of content, please do drop a like, subscribe, and uh, let me know down there in the comment section what did you think about my battles and uh, what could I do better. Uh, just whatever. Let me know down there below. And let's go up against some amazing legends here. All right, trainers, without further ado, let's get right into those battles. Real brief shout out to my coach over at Regicide PvP, Easily Done, aka Tanner. Thank you so much uh, for all your help, man. I could not have done this without you. Uh, just I wanted to show uh, my appreciation to you and also check them out. They have some affordable PvP coaching there. Now let's get right into these battles. So here we go into match number one. I'll be shout casting and uh, maybe giving you a little bit of my perspective here. Uh, good lead here. We have Cresselia into Venusaur. The opponent not knowing if that is the confusion variant automatically swaps out into his Drift Bloom. Uh, and confusion was very popular in this cup because of that poison clause. Now I switch into my Obama Snow and I'm about to spam these weather balls. Now Indigo is the opponent in this round. Uh, round one, match number one. Indigo, an awesome content creator. Uh, you can find him on YouTube and I find him a lot on uh, Twitter. He is a hilarious guy with his memes and gifts that he's always creating. Now Toxicroak coming in here to wreck my day. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and spam off at least two weather balls. These counters will hurt us. Uh, we'll see what we decide to do here and Cresselia comes in and Venusaur comes in to face us but the opponent not knowing if we have future sight yet um, but if I had it I would have thrown it there because both shields are down now my team consists of Scrafty, Abomasnow, Stunfisk, Cresselia, Azumarill and Alolan Marowak and the opponent there is running Dugong, Venusaur, Toxicroak, Drift Bloom, Umbreon and Crustle. Now we do get that Venusaur pretty low. He's got one Pokemon left. Abomasnow comes in, farms it down, takes a Mud Bomb like a champ, and is about to fire off this icy Weather Ball to seal the deal. And one Pokemon left in the back. Here we go into match number two. And we have Stunfisk into Dugong. Uh, pretty good for us here. We are weak to ice, but we do have that electric there uh, ready to unleash. Uh, so this should be fun. A uh, lot of ways this can go with the shields. Um, definitely going to try to do as much damage as I can. Uh, here we go. Firing off that discharge. Still doing amount, a great amount of damage despite being debuffed here. 
Uh, Dugong just spamming those icy winds does not commit a second shield. Uh, did a plenty of damage there. Is happy with the outcome. Now, what will Pogo Joel do? He goes in with Cresselia. Cresselia does have the Grass Knot. The opponent knows there is no future sight because he would have definitely gone for it in the early half. So if I refer to myself in my third person, I'm just practicing these shout casting skills, FYI. Oh, and Umbreon comes in to Cresselia. Um, wondering why the switch out didn't occur earlier. Probably the opponent just trying to get the debuff there. Uh, Indigo playing that pretty smart here. Not committing a shield. Pogo Joel does take that there. And oh my god, a perfectly timed switch into Obama Snow. Does decide to shield the first one up there. Uh, just because uh, Obama Snow is pretty spammy. So if we are able to fire off some, uh, some attacks here, we know we can get to them fast with that Powder Snow. And the opponent clawing a shield here, a uh, pretty good shield there. Uh, if it was Weather Bomb, probably not doing as much, but Energy Ball definitely the bigger play move there. And we'll see Energy Ball live in action. Energy Ball also a chance to debuff the opponent. Oh, and a beautiful sack swap, eating the foul play with Cresselia. A Bomb Snow comes in. Oh. He gets to one weather ball, but one weather ball definitely not enough, would need another. Oh man, and not enough health left to farm down there. Alrighty, Cresselia into Toxicroak, oh my god, the lead is called, and in comes the Venusaur to meet the Cresselia. We fire off that Moonblast, Moonblast going in there, also a chance to debuff. Uh, if you've played Ultra League PvP, you know that used to be very annoying. Now, uh, Pogo Joel switching into the Obama Snow. This is a decisive match number three. Winner will claim a first round win in the Kaiser Cup. And here we go, spamming that Weather Ball. The opponent has two shields here. What will Indigo sends out? He sends out his Toxic Croak. Pogo Joel answering immediately with a Weather Ball that does about half health. Oh my gosh. Um, what will Indigo do here? Will he commit the shield? Because another Weather Ball would end the day for that Toxic Croak. Toxic Croak farming down tons of energy. Uh, so what does Pogo Joel do? He sends out his tanky Cresselia. Uh, gets the mud bomb, able to take some energy, and the opponent switches in. He switches in to his <laughs> Umbreon, which is a perfect counter because this comes out the Scrafty. Scrafty firing those power up punches, gonna be able to power up punch and power up its attack, getting ready for whatever is uh, left on that Toxic Croak here. Uh, the opponent going last resort. Last resort still does a respectable amount, but these counters are powered up and in comes another power up punch to put the nail in the coffin with that farm down. Wow. Wow. Oh man. Here we go. Valor Ash versus Pogo Joel. Oh my gosh, guys. If you are not subscribed to Valor Ash, um, find him. He is on Twitter. He is on Twitch. So make sure you go follow him on Twitch. He is one of the best 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 twitch um, streamers uh, that I've seen uh, when it comes to GBL the man explains everything better than anyone I have seen do it um, definitely some high quality content there you go follow him and you will learn alrighty so we did see the haunter and haunter swapping out Obama snow was swapped in to and uh, the Umbreon comes out oh man uh, his team Dugong Venusaur Toxic Croak Haunter Umbreon and Zawilis or the wireless um, double darts there so interesting strat oh Joel what are you doing you had a weather ball some damage is better than no damage um, that is a Valor Ash quote <laughs> that's how much I watch the guy I love him man uh, thanks for the battles uh, Mason uh, hopefully uh, we get to meet up again someday and I do come out uh, swinging this time around alrighty so Venusaur and Scrafty. Scrafty not going to be doing so good in this one. Look at that Frenzy Plant dealing almost the entire amount of the health bar there. Uh, opponent does give us a shield and in comes Haunter. Uh, will Haunter eat this Bone Club? It does. No shields left. Oh man, you got you love this matchup, but uh, from this health range that Venusaur Frenzy Plant is very much enough. And despite having three Pokemon there, uh, Mason showing why he is the former number one in Sylph. 
uh, during Season 1, man. Uh, one of the best guys definitely around when it comes to PvP. Oh, man. Toxic Crook into Scrafty. Pogo Joel gets out of there quick. Throws in the Azumarill. Oh, and uh, just so you guys know, Kaiser announced between rounds 1 and 2 that we can TM away moves in between rounds. So, um, the only Pokemon I think I really did that with is going to be Azumarill. There's Play Rough, uh, where I did that a few times, and Hydro Pump. So, I uh, didn't really abuse it too much, but it was one of the rules they implemented. So, Ice Beam doing a good amount to that Venusaur, but Venusaur tanky enough to take that and able to dish out the Frenzy Plant. Obama Snow comes in to farm down and uh, Valor Ash over there with one shield and he comes in with Haunter. Haunter, oh, Haunter with the shield is so dangerous. Uh, but deciding not to shield there, uh, eh, here comes a Shadow Ball. No, Shadow Punch. Okay, and he swaps out, assuming there's some energy on there, avoiding the farm down. Oh, man. Here we go. Scrafty into this uh, Toxic Croak. Not going to be good for this Scrafty here. And uh, Toxie can just farm down here. And has plenty of energy. Oh no! Oh no! We were on Weather Ball. Not enough. Oh well. CMP, Toxic Croak, man. Oh, and then just Mason with this good read. Valor Ash uh, up 2 to 0 and uh, able to read me like a book. Wow. <laughs> I won the lead in the first match, uh, and that was about it. Oh man. Scrafty, come on, show me something. This is not looking so good. Toxic Crow coming in here and just gonna counter, 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 counter us and build up that energy. Does not have to throw a move there. And uh, not much looking good here because in comes those mud bombs. Even though I am a ghost resisting this with uh, AWAC, there's just too much pressure from that Toxic Crow here. Grabbing both shields. Uh, Pogo Joel not willing to uh, give up on the, this uh, Alolan Marowak uh, and uh, did it even really matter? Were those shields worth it? Uh, in hindsight, probably not. Probably should have uh, just taken care of this Obama Snow. Wow. 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 Oh my gosh. In comes the Venusaur with a shield uh, and just going to be able to uh, farm down there. And plus it had Sludge Bomb. Uh, not much left for Pogo Joel. Does get 3 0'd, and it's the only 3 0 uh, I had. So go check out Valor Ash for sure, guys. All right, next up we have round three, match number one against Nathan Jeter1. He is part of Magnus uh, PvP, uh, a Brazilian YouTube channel. Uh, with PvP, uh, he wanted me to highlight them and not himself, but I did hit uh, his Twitter here. Uh, but go ahead and check them out um, if you like to check out some South American uh, PvP from Brazil. Actually, further in Brazil, right? Uh, Brazil, Brazil. Um, check them out there. Now let's get into these battles a little bit more. So AWAC here about to fire off that Bone Club. The opponent does block the Sableye. It could have been a Shadow Ball, so respecting that there. And getting another shield, oh my gosh, that is quite amazing. Um, able to get a Shadow Ball early off in this match, looking great there. And uh, now, oh man, here comes that Stung Fisk. Uh, I think this is the only rounds that I used Stung Fisk, this only, uh, the matches here. Um, I just liked its matchups, I was hoping it would do a little bit better for me, but uh... Yeah, that's a lot of pressure from that return Sableye there, or that purified Sableye, I should say. We'll see if it has returned here shortly. And, oh man, not able to get to the Ice Beam uh, before, so losing that CMP tie there. And uh, here comes that Ice Beam, still not enough. Can we build up to another one in time? Oh no, we cannot. Oh, so close, so close there. And uh, here... Nope, energy ball does put us away there. Man, I started off so good, but uh, Nathan Jeter there able to overcome the lost lead. And now a terrible lead for Pogo Joel. Uh, Sableye into AWAC, not good, hate to see that. In comes Scrafty, and of course, Jump Bluff comes out. It is part flying, so aerial aces are gonna hurt. 
they're gonna hurt a lot that is super effective for a reason we're gonna go ahead and fire off the foul play here and uh, does a good respectable amount not able to get to another one and not committing a shield here all right so uh, what will we go into we go in to a um, lowland marowak able to farm down saving those shields we do know sableye is back there what will the opponent bring out of course it's sableye we're gonna go ahead and shield up this first foul play because uh, there's not much they are gonna be able to need to fire off it's just foul play and we fire off the bone club stealing the shield and another bone club again and the opponent not falling for it this time taking taking the hit pretty well there oh man so we go ahead and block this one up can we get to shad no yeah no no shadow ball for you and oh man uh sableye we've got problems and i'm bringing two things weak to sableye what am i doing wow what am i doing okay well sableye able to just uh, annihilate this core of uh alolan marowak and cresselia can we learn in match three here we go Obama Snow in to Jump Bluff. All right, come on, Joel. You're down two to one. Let's save some dignity there. The opponent swaps into Sableye. Pogle Joel makes a great adjustment and swaps into Scrafty. And we do shield up that first move. Fire off the foul play. Does a great amount. You gotta love to see that. And we're gonna throw out that power up punch. Going to boost us up and take out Sableye pretty uh, pretty easily there. Now we're gonna throw off a foul play into Jump Bluff. Will the opponent block? Nope, and it does deal a good amount. Thought about switching there, decided to stay in. And here comes the first aerial ace. We are able to survive it. And we're gonna go for another power up punch, thinking we can get to foul play with that health left. We get a shield. The opponent not keeping track of the energy there, uh, able to get the shield. We're gonna go ahead and block this aerial ace. And we could potentially farm down, but why risk it? Let's go ahead and throw off that icy weather ball now here comes the first aerial ace Ooh, does so much damage and the opponent swamps in to that empoleon finally making a debut and in comes that azumarill firing off a play rough it's the only move that has stab at this point uh luckily so uh still does a good amount of damage let's go ahead and fire another play rough off maybe maybe <laughs> maybe let's take a look at that nope drill peck and uh, not doing that much damage but uh, still a good option there oh the opponent swaps out trying to preserve a little bit of that health we get to the ice beam will this pay off did that swap pay off for the opponent and oh we eat the move oh man that's epic it eats the drill peck comes in bubbles down pogo joel saving some face getting that win there now uh here we go into the round four against Alflando or Alf. Um, also, his name is Ken. Check him out. He is on uh, Twitch and he is on YouTube. And also, his Twitter handle is there. Uh, in the first matchup here, we have a Lolan Marowak against that shiftery oh and a beautiful swap to eat that move able to farm down if the opponent stays in opponent switches in to that metacham and we're gonna go ahead and fire off that oh my god that connected that energy ball connected doing a lot of damage there and what will we come in with uh so we go in with Oh, okay. Azumarill eating the Ice Punch, expecting a Psychic to potentially come through. Is the opponent baiting us? Nope. And we have Power Up Punch. The opponent running Power Up Punch and Ice Punch. Not a combo we see in Open uh, Great League, but interesting here. Uh, also, Ken didn't know that we could uh, TM between rounds until after I told him after this round. So, uh, hopefully, he changed that up a bit. Um, so, able to Ice Beam the last of that shiftery there. And uh, here comes another Ice Beam. The opponent having a tough time against that Alolan Marowak there uh, thanks for the battles Alf uh, let's go Raichu oh man Raichu we did shield it up maybe a wasted shield but we do get the rest of that energy there and in comes Alolan Marowak and it's just gonna bone club this uh, away 
Now, uh, in this next match, I didn't capture it all, but I had a Bomb of Snow that took out his shift tree. The opponent uh, conceding there, just saying that he didn't have answers for AWAC, so um, we do get the 3-0 the here. Um, and let's just go off into our next round. Uh, round 5 against Alpha Phoebe. An awesome Twitch streamer for sure. Check him out. Uh, give him a follow. Uh, you can see his daily grinds on GBL uh, over on his Twitch channel. All right, so he switches into Cresselia, about to catch a move, and he caught a wow. He caught a shadow ball on Cresselia. Not good. And then uh, in comes the next Bone Club, just to add a little insult to injury. The opponent with Future Sight, uh, nice! We haven't seen Future Sight on a Cresselia in a hot minute. Everyone's deciding to run the Grass Knot variant with uh, with Moonblast. Okay, opponent swaps out again, and we're still on our first Alolan Marowak. Have not swapped out yet, only committed one shield. Um, in comes that Lapras, and beautiful setup for us in the back. Uh, Pogo Joel with that Scrafty, not blocking the first move. Uh, is going to uh, power up punch. Oh, that, that's a beautiful sack swap. Wow, not even a sack swap, just eating the move with Venusaur. Amazing. Um, but Pogo Joel does have that Obama Snow in the back and uses one shield and is going to be able to just one shot with Weather Ball. And we do have Energy Ball in the back. At this point, we are forcing the opponent to either block this or call the bluff. And they do block it, and uh, no bluff intended. Now here comes the move, Skull Bash, ouch! Is the boosted defense gonna be enough with this Scrafty coming with a power up punch, boosting up that counter? Yeah, didn't even need the counter. Alrighty, match number two against Alpha Phoebe here. Alpha Phoebe leading Venusaur into Cresselia. This is not the Confusion Cresselia, so uh, good job Venusaur. He can stay in here with the Venusaur. Um, but I did farm a little bit over, like if I had Future Sight. And um, so at this point, not revealing Grass Knot, we did fire off a Moonblast. The opponent could think we're baiting them at this point. Again, we over farm, like if we have Future Sight. So if you don't have a move, abuse it. Ah, he called it this time. Called it, and I did even invest the shield there just so my opponent can think I have Future Sight. I did trust my lineup in the back. Coming in, farming down the rest of that Venusaur. Did the opponent switch in in time, or was that Venusaur farmed down? Uh, oh, he did switch in in time. So he's going to be able to power up punch um, boost his Scrafty against this Obama Snow, but Obama Snow still has plenty of health here, enough to get to Energy Ball, and almost one-shotting that, that Scrafty. The Scrafty has one HP left, not going to be able to do anything with it. Uh, it gets countered out by um, my own Scrafty, and then Scrafty, oh, he brings in Lapras. Interesting call there. Uh, Lapras is going to be weak to those counters. We swap out, and the police are coming to take, or the ambulance is coming to take that Lapras if you can hear that in the background. Surf comes through, we fire off another power up punch and he does get the last shield. Opponent's gonna come in with a Surf. Uh, one HP left. Oh, Cresselia! Cresselia firing off a Moon Blast. The opponent swapping out to catch it and nope. Lapras not enough health to take on that last Psycho Cut. OMG. Alrighty, so Pogo Joel up two to zero, and um, with this lead not looking so great, um, Alolan Marowak is going to be able to uh, resist the the counters and the power up punch, uh, but the foul play is called nice, and we're going to fire off the shadow ball opponent does not block it and uh so far so good another foul play coming through correctly called on pogo joel side and we are aggressively farming down despite the opponent having two shields um the opponent's going to be forced to shield here oh looks like we're almost at two shadow balls so here comes the first shadow ball the opponent swaps out and oh we were at that uh, second shadow ball there but shadow punch enough to take us out we are not worried here because scrafty is part dark type and it does kind of have foul play now really putting the opponent on the ropes here are they gonna call this foul play are we even going for foul play lots of mind games and we get the foul play two shields not even matter they exist my friend use them if you need to um, but oh my gosh 
a terrible no call there Espe expecting the bait but scrafty showing that it is dangerous with its typing oh my gosh and just coming in the opponent does go down with one shield and uh, good games good games everyone uh, that I've played so far oh man here we go against Caleb Pang the meta maker if you are not following this guy follow him any video he makes watch it if you are not influenced by it the meta is influenced by it so you need to watch everything he posts uh, just because uh, people will run whatever he's running uh, he always makes some really great teams it was an honor to face him so here we are uh, I did switch Cresselia into this Lapras Lapras swapping out and Moonblast coming on to Venusaur so able to catch that in time and not throw grass knot uh, too bad we did not have focus blast in this one but totally fine totally fine frenzy plant comes through oh my gosh that did so much damage so much damage alrighty and we're able to uh, get it down a little bit more swap in to Alolan Marowak gonna shield respect that frenzy plant farm down and have some energy for this Lapras who's gonna hit you with a surf ouch half health there in comes the shadow ball and Shadow Ball connects. Oh man, um, just a heads up. There's gonna be a phone call that comes through here uh, during this call. I forgot to have Do Not Disturb on, and for some context here, guys, um, it was a phone call from my mom. Uh, uh, it was her birthday yesterday. I know it shows up for like a brief second here, but it, it throws me off. It was her birthday today before this tournament, um, and she actually tested positive for COVID-19. So we had a virtual hangout for her birthday. Um, but yeah, after that phone call, it really threw me off because I was like, oh man, hopefully she's okay. Luckily, she's recovered from it and is doing fine now. But during this tournament, uh, it was definitely uh, going on during that month. Oh man, and we're, we lose that one. I, I, I should not have swapped out, um, but the phone call did throw me off a bit it's all good here we go in no excuses in round two and oh caleb oh, such a read uh, uh such a lead uh he is going scrafty into my alolan marowak i farm up a bunch of energy i did use a shield we swap out and in comes Magnazone to greet that Azumarill. You hate to see it, um, but Play Rough doing a good amount to this Magnazone showing uh, Azumarill showing Magnazone. Hey, this is not your uh, Ultra or Master League. So we're gonna go ahead and shield up the Wild Charge, not wanting to find out how much damage that does, and uh, we go ahead and uh, fire off this. Oh, Shadow Ball into Scrafty. I mean, you had expected to come back. Foul Play is going to do a good amount there. Oh, we switch out. Oh, he switches out too. Oh, man. But that Scrafty. Oh, man. Jeez. Uh, not not good. Not good. Um, maybe it would have been best to stay in. I don't know. Caleb's a master. Um, uh, Scrafty's just giving me trouble with the, this lineup again. Oh, I can't believe I brought two things that are weak to scrafty oh, you hate to see it alrighty so we tried to aggressively farm down the Venusaur with cycle cuts which is not the best idea but we were that was probably my only win condition so I could have a bunch of energy to throw on to this guy uh, I was locked in there so I couldn't switch out anyways but it would have been nice to have a moon blast because if I would have been able to take it out I could have swapped out and uh, scrafty would have eventually eaten that ate that moon blast but no worries all right scrafty Venusaur in the final match here and we are able to connect their Venusaur down a lot of health there frenzy plant comes through we do shield that up because you have to respect that move it's it's so dangerous look at this oh and Cresselli is a tanky girl so she is thick she could take hits but wow and then we should be able to farm down why weren't we able to do that in the last round why Oh man, uh, in comes Scrafty, and finally, can a Moonblast connect? Probably not. The opponent's got two shields, and it's Caleb Peng, guys. So in comes my own Scrafty. Let's see if we were able to catch Foul Play. Oh, Power Punch, so shielded, I guess. Not wisely, because the first Power Up Punch won't do as much as the next ones, but oh well, we shielded. So, um... We are able to fire a power punch of our own and get one counter in maybe. 
In comes Azumarill, able to resist all of the moves that Scrafty has. And Caleb switches into his Lapras. Oh, fun fact after this, so I'm not the only paid actor taking calls during battles. Um, Caleb let me know that he brought in the wrong Lapras. Uh, I think this is one of his raid ones that does not have Skull Bash, but didn't matter really. Uh, he does let that go, and the shield as well. Uh, thanks for the battles, Caleb. Wow. Amazing tournament, guys. I did finish 3-3. Three and three. I am proud of how I played. I think I, I came out and really represented and grew a lot. Um, my battles with Valor Ash, Caleb Peng, Alpha Phoebe, uh it was amazing. I, I had a really great experience. Thank you to Kaiser for inviting me to the tournament uh, letting me be a part of this. There's a lot of great, awesome content creators in this tournament. Go and check them out. It was so fun to be a part of. Uh, I'm just so grateful uh, that I was invited and uh, considered a content creator, guys. Uh, again, if you like this kind of entertainment, if you like this layout, I worked really hard to make this really nice, uh, presentable like an eSport, um, please do drop a like, subscribe, leave a comment there, which was your favorite battle, were there any moments that you liked, and until next time, trainers, battle on!